Design Shop. Today I'm really excited. We are going to cast some bugs using liquid diamonds. I love bugs. I'm a big bug nerd and I don't know what time of year it is when you're watching this but for me it's almost Halloween so I figured this would be kind of my homage to, is it homage? Homage. Homage. <laughs> homage. <laughs> Thanks husband. Um, to Halloween. Casting some bugs. Um, maybe using a little glitter. There's something that I really love about bugs and glitter. So, so all these insects that we're using today I got from a Etsy shop called Insect Art. And I love using them. I use them for a lot of my insects. And they're all ethically sourced, which means that all of these insects that I'm using lived long and happy insect lives and hopefully had insect babies and did their insect frolicking and made their insect noises before they died naturally to be used in this art project. I have a butterfly. We have this dragonfly. How pretty is that? Scorpion. It's not pretty now, but it will be. And y'all, look at this creepy little praying mantis. I've got the cicada. Let's show you this big cicada. All the molds today we're using, I got from Amazon. Um, and I can't remember what the shops were called, but I have um, these small little round and oval shapes. And then I also got a set of casting molds. Um, they're all different shapes. A little pair of tweezers. These holographic glitters made by Let's Resin, found on Amazon. And some pigment powders by Arteza, also found on Amazon. And then, of course, we have our mixing sticks, our measuring cups, this big mixing spatula thingy that's great because you can reuse it over and over again. This big old measuring cup. I'm going to um, most likely use a few of these um, dried flowers and greenery that I have. And then, most importantly, we have our nitrile gloves and our respirator. And these are for safety. Always very important to use when working with resin. You're gonna add one part hardener, two parts resin. Liquid Diamonds is usually pretty good about not having many bubbles, but you can use a small kitchen torch if you'd like to pop them. It's really not necessary. They usually go away on their own. Or you can use a little stick just to chase them and pop them out. And when you put your insects in your molds, you're going to be very careful because they are fragile. So it helps to use the little pair of tweezers if you have them.
at this point, I decided to add some greenery around the mantel. This is completely optional, of course. I sometimes go with less is more, but just as often go with more is more. We are now on day two. It's been about 24 hours since I last spoke to you. Um, I could have come in here a little bit earlier and waited. Um, you don't have to wait till it's completely cured to do a second layer. I have a baby and so I just didn't get in here until 24 hours and that's okay too. So today what I'm going to do is um, put a second layer on all of these. On most of them it will be the final layer. On all of them it might be. Um, a few of them I'm going to leave clear and a few of them I'm going to put some background color. Um, one thing to note about putting glitter into liquid diamonds is that you might want to wait a little bit until it thickens up before you put the glitter in because it is a really thin resin which means the glitter is likely to sit. Now since we're on the second layer it really doesn't matter because I'm doing the ones I'm using glitter on are going to be a thin layer. So you're gonna mix your resin, of course, the same as you did yesterday with two parts resin and one part hardener. I also have these little clear cups that I'm using to split it up because I'm gonna do a few different pigments and glitters. So once you have your resin mixed up really good, you can pour it into the separate cups and then mix up your pigment into the resin. You're gonna mix your resin up just like you did yesterday. I didn't show that part on camera. And then you're going to pour clear resin in the one you want to keep clear. And you can add pigment to the ones that you would like to have a color in the back or some glitter.
drop in it's day three and our pieces are ready i've already taken this one out look how pretty she looks and i'll go ahead and take these other ones out real quick so you can see the finished product I can hang 